Hello there, my friends. This is Jeb Adams, and I'm here in the kitchen studio today. And I've got my setup here for getting some work accomplished. Point over here, and I'm going to zoom in a little so we can get a closer look. Tubes, uh, the bo the bottom bearing, and the bottom bearing spring bushing, and the all the nuts, and then the the placer uh, chip that goes in the in the casing, also the motor retention bracket. So that all got and then the screws for the motor. So that all got washed. So I wanted just to and cleaned. So that's what we missed yesterday. So I'm just going to move that out of the way for now. You know what? I'm just going to push it right back there for now. One other thing, while I have this here. There's something I'd like to point out. These insulators, let me back up a little. I like that shot. <laughs> These insulators are, are fragile and they break all the time. That is some kind of wear point. I'm sure that is not the way that is supposed to be. But I got it as clean as I dared press. Um, there's no real goo or gunk or varnish comes off if I try and clean it anymore. So, but I just wanted to point out how fragile that is. The other thing I wanted to point out is that I really like the the bottom bearing and the bottom bearing spring retainer clip bushing because that's the function that that little piece. So that's that's done too. So enough about that. At the back there, I have some uh, hand wheel parts. I have the brushes, which we're going to do right now. And then there's the cam stack and hand wheel stuff and the, and the gear for the top of the motor. The, the, mesh, the gear that meshes, the hand wheel gear that meshes with the top of the motor. Uh, so I'm going to get the brushes done. Going to put them in crud cutter and then rinse them with water and dry them with the hair dryer. And after we do that, we're gonna come and we're going to start on this. This is really dirty as you can, I almost don't wanna get my gloves dirty, but you can really see that it's, you know, it's, let me turn this a bit. It's pretty horrible, pretty macabre. But anyway, so it's gonna be a bunch of fun. So let's get started with these with our friends the brushes we'll put them there i'll back that up for now and back that up there for now and i'll get a little container like this and i'll put the brushes in i'm making sure you can see what i'm doing i'm not going to hide on you anymore i want to welcome you all first time Great, love first timers. Keep coming back, please. And if you returned, if you're returning, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Trying to get five more subscribers by February 7th. So if any of this helps you in any way at all, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. And right now, publishing videos every day, pretty much. And look at that, this 100% crud cutter. And we're just going to put that in there like that. And we're gonna let it, well, you know what, I want a little more. There. And we're here in the kitchen, so if we splish splash around, there's no big deal, you know. And uh, I do have a bunch of brushes here. Indeed, indeed. I haven't cut the ends off any of their their long brushes sometimes I cut the ends off but anyway I'm just going to give them a swirl like that and then That's just fresh water out of the trap, out of the tap, pardon me. So I'm just going to throw them in there. 
I'm going to move the crud cutter out of the way for now. I'll move this front and center. This is clean water to rinse. I will swish them around. And now I'll just gently grab them by the spring, put them on there, move the water out of the way, I think. <laughs> And then I'm going to take this hair dryer and I have it on high heat, but I'm going to put it on low, low. And then I'm going to put my hand there. Okay, they're not going to go anywhere. Oh yeah, that one went. Now I'm turning them over. Ooh, that one tried to blow away. Okay, so I'm going to stop there with the hair dryer for now. And I think they're still a little bit uh, messy, maybe. Let's, let's check it out. So we got some off there. So these are still kind of messy. This one is still kind of messy. And I think this one may have been the messier of the two. We'll find out in a minute. But anyway, nonetheless, I'm going to bring the crud cutter front and center. And I'm going to put that back in there. And since that one is going back in there, this other one is going to go in there too. And... I'm going to see what kind of cleanliness we got on this one. Oh, there's a, got a chunk of something there. Wow, look what came off the, where the brush contacts the commutator. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing we're washing these again, eh, guys and gals? How are you gals? You gals are the best. Hey, guys. Oh, we're all good. Sewers, vintagers, restorers. This brush has a number on it. 9117? Never noticed that before. Anyway, back into the cred cutter and uh, we'll swish it around with a brush. Actually, I might even and now I'm very well, you know what? Get some cred cutter. Don't even dry them, just, you know what, I don't need to do those pliers. Wow, these are taking a fair bit of cleaning. This is going to be a video about cleaning the brushes, pretty much. But anyway, I'm going to continue along with cleaning these brushes and I'm going to make another video. This may be a two or three day video, like two or three parts, but nonetheless, hope you have a great day. If you're still here with me, thank you. I appreciate your support. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and please come back tomorrow. If you have anything you want to comment on, I'd love to hear what you have to say. 
and uh, have a great day. Have fun. Be safe. Hope to talk at you soon.